On today's episode of the Kentucky Yankee, I'm going to be welding up the body support mounts onto our S10 frame for our boosted Ford Ranger build. I'll also be priming the bedside. I'll also be giving away this license plate. We're going to do the drawing for that. And some lucky winner will get this authentic Kentucky license plate for their shop, to hang in their shop or bedroom or whatever. And I'm also going to reveal the name of this boosted Ford Ranger project today. Just drop the engine and transmission in there, see how it would fit. And I did a couple hundred measurements just to see if everything's going to work out. And guys, it's looking good so far, actually. And I thought I'd show you guys something kind of cool. There's how the front is. Now let me run to the back real quick. And here's the back. So this frame, look how close, like I was telling you before. What, I mean, it could be maybe let's see a half inch difference you know between them uh the wheelbase that's amazing first measurement what i'm wanting to do is get that body mount the center of it the distance between that body mount and the center of the ball joint so that's why i've got this rigged up like this that is a bar running across right through the center of the bolt holes and I made it plumb with this level. Now I'll take this handy dandy laser here, stick it on the mark I made on this ball joint. This is a time I need three hands. There that is, see there? And there's a laser mark there. My, and bam, I just hit the button. And it should be 20 inches and a quarter. So we got... What's it say there? Oh, yeah. One foot, eight inches and a quarter. So that's 20 and a quarter. I already checked it. I just didn't know if I could do it on camera, too, but it worked out. Now I'll transfer that measurement to that other frame over there. This next step may be a little bit annoying to you because we got to use this laser level and transom setup here. First thing I'm going to do is measure this original mount, the height of it. And I already did. It's on... So I've got it pegged out where it is, where it's supposed to be. So this one has to raise up to meet this one in order for them to be the same height and it work out. So what I did was there's a little piece of wire here and I'll give you a closer look at that. But I put it there to where it'd be level. So it's right on. Now I'm going to measure the distance from here, the frame, to here. And it's exactly two and five eighths from here to there. So I need to make a mount like this and it, he, it needs to be raised up two and five eighths of an inch to fit right here. And after this measurement, it'll get a lot easier because we'll measure off of the frame and just see how high or low each mount's gonna be. All right, I've cut up a couple mounts here. Two plates like this is what I mean. And I need to cut up two more for the other side. And I will show you how we're going to weld them all up together and what they look like. And this is a woman's eyeliner. Or maybe, I guess if you're a transgender or something. But anyways, they're greasy. And they work really good to mark metal. Better than anything I've ever used. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, old Big Douglas.
So there it is. And I'm going to go back and weld it up solid after we get done. I, I still got to put a plate right here and weld it in for more strength. And I thought I'd mention, originally we measured from the center of the hub to where the body mount fit. And that's a good preliminary measurement. But you also have to remember that caster plays in this too. So if this wheel with the alignment, this wheel would be ahead of the left side wheel. You know, the left one would be behind, this right side would be ahead, and that's to compensate for road crown. So I did make more, take more measurements from here just to the frame right here to make sure everything was lined up, squared up like it's supposed to be. I can't show every single measurement I do, guys. So here's where we're at. I got the front ones kind of welded on there. And like I said, I'm going to go back and weld them solid. But everything's looking pretty good. And remember, the frame is level. And so are the mounts. Time now for me to go eat a liver loaf sandwich. And we're going to change gears. I got to get a scuff pad and paint this truck bed. I'll explain when I get back. So I'm back with a full belly. And now, guys, I'm just going to scuff this truck bed off. Some of you might not know I've started a series on the bodywork of this old truck too. I'll leave the videos in the description below for that. But I need to get it scuffed off. It's like 60 some degrees out here in Kentucky today and it's going to snow Sunday. I'm worried about it rusting so I'm going to get some epoxy primer on it. So this is an epoxy primer and what it does is it seals it up so it doesn't rust and now because it is such a nice day I'm going to put the uh, building primer on there and what that does is it gets rid of the imperfections on the body when you sand it, block sand it out. All packed away, safe, and ready for another day. Time now for the license plate giveaway. So for all of you that commented below on my last video and gave me a thumbs up, your names are in this here box, this suspension bushing box. And I will now pick a name out, and whoever you are will be the lucky winner. There you go. And the winner is David Casper. So cool, he comments, he comments on my other videos too and I appreciate that David. So you are the winner and proud new owner of this Kentucky license plate. I will leave my email address in the description below. If you could just email me, I could get this thing mailed to you quickly. I want to thank everyone who commented below and participated in my little uh, license plate giveaway. Guys, if you like this sort of thing, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. So we've got these front mounts done. So now it's time to take the measurement for the next mounts, which are back here. So we start here at this front mount. The frame's still level. My laser's twirling around. You can probably see it on my shirt, but maybe not on this measuring stick. But anyways, it's measuring right here. So we'll take that measurement right there, come back here, put it on this next bracket. The laser's now flashing right here, you know, approximately. So I've got to measure the distance between here to here Transfer that measurement over to my other frame, 
Measure it from the front mount back and from here over to there. Transfer all those measurements over there to my other frame, make some brackets, and weld them up. So this is the middle cab mount, and I'm going to have to do this one a little bit different because it's got to be lower. In this case, it's got to be lower. So I cut this slot out of the frame right here, uh, put this weld through primer on there so it wouldn't rust on us on both sides of this. This plate's going to fit right here like this, and the mount will eventually end up going on top of it like that. The reason for the slot is so that this will fit in the right position there, and it's got to be right about there. So that's why it's like that. I'm going to weld some gussets going down here on the sides and put that top plate on. I cut the brackets out. And there's this side, I just got it placed in there. And here's the other side right here. Let me cook them in there real quick and I'll show you what we got. This is how this one's gonna work out. There's that slot in the frame and I'll show you. This piece right here needs to go into that slot, you know, a certain distance. And then this top piece, which obviously it's upside down, but see, it'll fit right in there like that. Should work out great. And it'll be very solid because it's practically, I mean, part of the bushing is on the frame. All right, guys, so this is gonna be it for this week's video. Pretty much it's just gonna be more of the same I'm going to keep measuring, welding, putting brackets on this thing. Hopefully next week we'll be able to lower the truck uh, body on it and maybe even the bed. See how the engine transmission fits. And before I go, I almost forgot to mention the name of this Boosted Ranger build. And I told you I would tell you what it is. And I was going to call it the Stamanger, S10 Mazda Ranger. But after discussing it with my son, he said... Let's call it the scavenger because I've scavenged so many different parts from so many different vehicles. And because it is my boy, we're going with that name. We're going to call it the scavenger this time. Maybe next project, I'll let you guys vote on the name or come up with one for us. But this time, let's just call it the scavenger.